Hey guys, welcome back to another clip of Schach Manuel Lernen. Today I'm going to show you the fourth round of the Burgdorf tournament. So I played with the black pieces, I had a Sicilian opening again, and yeah, there was nothing special, like he played right away f4, um, and his threat is to play e5, so I have to stop it with d6, bishop e3, a6, a4 is a bit special, um, the idea is like in long term for white to play a5, bishop b6 and to get this diagonal. Um, here knight f6 is correct and here I just should have continued with bishop e7, it's all well known theory, castle, castle, king h1 and so on. It's all well known theory, that's why I won't explain it much deeper. Um, I played instead bishop d7. Now bishop d7 is uh, inaccuracy because he simply plays like in long term he plays bishop f3 and he has here some pressure and this bishop here is just wrong. This bishop here should be here to counter the long diagonal. That's why bishop d7 was already an inaccuracy. He played knight b3. And then I thought I have to play b6 because of this mentioned move. But apparently computer says uh, it's not necessary. And the main problem is by b6 this bishop. It's just on the wrong square. And that's why I have some trouble to yeah, continue the game in a good point. Castle, bishop e7. And now here I have to worry already about like this, this ideas. So I fought for some time and played like I played h5 um, to stop g4. But it's not really helpful since I can't castle anymore. Because whenever I castle, I will just lose this pawn. Um, h6 would have been better. Queen e2, castle, still better for white. Because he has the more active pieces. But it's not yeah, as good for white as it was in the game. So I made second mistake in this game, I played h5, queen e2, uh, knight b4. Uh, this move here I calculated, but I just didn't find <clears throat> any other moves. Um, because I can't castle, um, rook c8 or d8 doesn't help that much. Also because I just would lose this pawn. So yeah, what I calculated was that if he plays this, I can play knight, capture, capture. And here I thought, well, okay, I can at least continue playing and it's not the end of the world. Capture, capture. But now here the problem is he, yeah, he just has the activity, like he attacks this, this, and also he threatens like rook e1 and capture on e7. Um, here I should have gone for f6, queen f2, uh, bishop d8 for protecting this pawn once more. And yeah, but it looks really strange, especially with rook check and this constellation here yeah I didn't like it I didn't see it but I didn't like it even by analyzing with computer um, I decided to castle and give up this pawn um, yeah it didn't help that much at the end actually 
I played rook c8, forward counterplay, c3, rook c4. And now my opponent, yeah, played it easily, quite good. Rook f3 with this idea. So now I played f6, f5. I thought, okay, I grab a pawn, this one, this one, and yeah, like, I thought I can win the knight, but also if I would play this, for instance, yeah, it wouldn't help a lot, he can just play this, this, and then he has this threat, and my king is just too weak, because... This pawn is missing. So I captured here and he found a nice forcing checkmate sequence. Queen h7 check is forced. Queen g6. King g8 is forced. Rook h7 is forced. Like rook f7 is forced. And after queen h5 there's no way to defend this checkmate. So yeah, unfortunately, the fourth round ruined my tournament because I lost against a guy with 1700. Um, yeah, where were the mistakes? In the opening, I played bishop d7. That was an inaccuracy, especially combined with b6. And main mistake was... Uh, where is the move h5 that was main mistake um it just weakened my king side too much and afterwards i didn't have a lot of chance to to hold it somehow so yeah i hope you learned a bit something check out in the description for my private lessons would be glad if i could meet you there as well and yeah take care to you guys have good chess games by yourself and see you soon.